Earth signs, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is your November 2018 element reading for all uh, Earth signs. Uh, I wasn't going to do a November reading at all uh, for a number of reasons, one of which was just that we had our, our full moon and we're still in the Venus retrograde. And so I just felt like residual energies from September and October were going to be, you know, still dragging into November. And so it's a, a lot of a uh, recovery buildup period, like two steps forward, one step back sort of energy. Um, and I thought that was going to continue on for November. So I was like, well, I really don't want to do a reading then for November, but I decided to do it anyway, but this time keep it very general. All earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if you're in a relationship with one, if you're checking on one, this is going to be the general energy. So all energies for November, 2018. The other thing I wanted to mention was I decided on this spread also, I'm going to keep them all upright. No reversals for this one so that we can just go boom, boom, boom. This is what you can expect for November. Don't forget to come back for your December one, your December reading. That's going to be for each individual sign. And I'm going to give you guys your 2019 overview in the December readings as well. So those are going to be extended readings right here on YouTube. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, uh, drunk.tarot. Let's begin. I already shoveled, but I'm shuffling right here for you guys so you know that I'm not a faker. November 2018, Earth Signs. What can Earth Signs expect? November 2018, Earth Signs. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. That song is in my head. Earth signs, Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, what can you expect for November 2018? What's your current situation? All right. You guys wish fulfillment. So you guys are happy. Something has turned a corner. Something has happened recently in your, in your life, within yourself. Maybe you just like woke up, snapped out of it, out of a situation, and you're feeling like a wish came true. Something that you were kind of hoping for has happened and uh, or is going to happen in November, the very beginning of November. So you're feeling stoked. Here's the thing about um, feeling stoked. Now, here goes my, my mean lecture. Here's the thing about feeling stoked. Don't overindulge. Don't overcelebrate. Don't, um, um, uh, what's the word? Like when you, uh, don't rub it in anyone's face. Like if you want something or something good happened for you and it's not necessarily something that somebody else wanted, um, you, you don't have to be smug. Don't be an asshole. Um, don't drink too much. For sure don't eat too much. I'm looking at you, Taurus. Just don't like overindulge too much um, because we are heading into the, the holiday season, right? So November to December and you start celebrating now, I mean, don't get on the scale in January. If you're celebrating like this right now, I don't want to see you in January. Badass. I'm kidding, you guys. I'm totally kidding. Um... But yeah, so you're you're happy. Something happened. It's good. So you you want to celebrate, and that's good. And you should a little bit within reason. Don't be a dipshit. Okay, have a good time. Something as good is happening in your life. Celebrate it. I'm I'm happy for you. Okay, so Earth signs, good job. Um, you deserve it. You know, I'm pretty sure you do deserve it because you guys are hard workers. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces uh, Earth sign. Um, and just so you guys know, the Pisces is shady as fuck. So, um, there, there are secrets being kept from you. And if you're totally okay with saying, I don't see it, hear no evil, see no evil, I'm still celebrating my, my little win, um, just know that this Pisces around you, um, it could be any water sign, but this is the card of Pisces. There, there are secrets. There are secrets. Okay? Well, there's nothing else to say. There's clandestine uh, romances. Um, this person is texting, uh, there's other person right there in bed with you and laying right next to you. They fucking got the name on their phone, uh, you know, Domino's and you're like, uh, what, what are you, what are you doing? Who are you texting? They're just like, oh, I was going to, this, this person at Domino's wants to make a pizza for me. Like it's a bunch of bullshit. Secrets are around you. Be aware or sign. So that's why I said, don't celebrate too fast, too soon, too hard. Because you don't know exactly what you're celebrating. Just saying. Earth signs. There are secrets around you, so let's find... Well, maybe I'll do a clarifier, because I don't... This card is shady. Um, you know, what you're hoping for is that you or someone that you're around... You're hoping that you... Re... 
regain your creative force. You want your ambition, your creativity, your outgoing energy, whatever that means for some of you earth signs. You want your you back. You want to get back to who you are. Your quirking things, your sense of humor, your creativity, your intelligence, the way you have conversations with individuals, your interpersonal relationships, your communication style, like everything that makes you you, everything that makes you super rad and awesome and beautiful and wonderful and people want to be around you and attractive, attractive is the key word. And I don't mean physical attractive. I mean like that thing, that special about you, you want that to come back. At some point, you kind of slipped up and you lost a little bit or someone, you know, kind of sucked your magic out, if that makes sense. That special thing that you have, someone was a vampire around you recently and they were sucking that, that wonderful thing about you out and it was draining you. In November, you want to have that to come back and I think you're going to be working towards getting that back and that's a good thing. So your energy does come back. You're vivacious. You're very popular. People are looking at you. Um, okay. Now this see you earth signs is starting to come, come to light now. Here we go. These two cards right here are talking to each other. This is what you are, are trying to manifest. This is, these are energies that you want to have. You think you're celebrating, you think you're happy, you want your energy back, things are going well, maybe like on the surface level, like on paper, things around you are lining up the way you kind of manifested or the way you kind of hoped it would. But on the emotional level, there are things that are, are hidden, okay? Those things that are hidden, you're not, a, you're not a dipshit, you're not dumb. You know that something is being hidden from you. You know that secrets are being uh, kept. You know that. You're picking up on that. Your vibration is picking up on that. Because of that, what we know to be true, this is what we know to be true, is you are, you're losing sleep, you're depressed, you have anxiety, because you know something is up. That's, that's it, that's all you need to know. Something is up, you don't know what it is, you're trying to, you're trying to move ahead in a positive way, you're trying to have a, your best foot forward, you're trying to be positive, you're trying to focus on your work, your friends, your health, do get back to all the things that make you you, but really deep down inside, you know the truth that something something is not right. Earth sign. I do think it's a water sign to blame. I do think it's a Pisces to blame. What do you want me to say, Earth sign? I'm gonna hang up now because we both know where this is going. And I'm not always this way. I'm telling you. I'm not always this way. I, I mean, I am always this way, but my, the other two readings, I just did Pisces and air signs. Their readings were beautiful, like no, all positive. So earth signs for November, 2018, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, there's heartbreak, there's sadness. There's a feeling of loss, betrayal. You're mourning something. You're losing sleep over something. You're stressed. There's anxiety. And that sounds very dun, 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 very bad. That's only because you know, someone is keeping a secret from you. You know, you're not getting all the facts. And the earth signs live in facts and, you know, being pragmatic and realistic. They live in that. And if you're not getting all the facts, you feel like off. And so you try your hardest to be positive, to do the things that you need to do to make you you. And as hard as you're trying, you, you're still dealing with the, the reality that something is not being shared with you. And it's hurting your feelings. It's hurting your heart. In the destiny, you have the three of swords, which a lot of people will just shout out, oh, third party situation. Y yeah, okay, third party situation, fine. But really and truly, regardless of what the cause is, a third party, a, a car accident, a loss of a job, a feeling of betrayal, whatever, whatever the reason, it doesn't even matter what the reason is, you're sad. In November, something comes to light that leaves you feeling very sad and heartbroken and disappointed. We will get, I will pull cleric flyers because, you know, this is heavy energy and I wasn't expecting this because I was like, oh yeah, two for two. All water signs, all air signs, beautiful. 
and here we are with earth signs. And the thing that breaks my heart in this reading, you guys, is I see you trying. You're trying. Despite what's going on in your life that's fucking you up emotionally, you are trying. You are trying. You're trying to get back to who you are. You're trying to find yourself. And it's difficult right now. It's very difficult right now. So we're, we're going to get some advice for you guys. This is a very uh, tough reading. There's going to be a message that's good. A hopeful message, a positive message at the end of November. Um, let me put it into perspective, though. This is a page, so it's young, young energy. It's, it's early energy. It's a new energy. It's not mature energy. Okay, so this is kind of like, let me put it into like, um, it's like you're having a rough time. You're everything's like falling apart. You're feeling upset. You're trying your best, whatever. And you get like, I don't know, somebody like drops off like a, a little, you know, bag on your doorstep. And it's just like, you know, keep your chin up. I'm thinking about you, you know. As much as I want to say that this is fantastic energy, it's not like mind-blowing energy. Someone just tries to cheer you up in a small way. It's a, and then if it comes, if it's a love relationship, someone maybe doesn't apologize, but they give like a half-hearted sort of like message, like a text message with a fucking emoji of like a, a hearty face or something like that, you know? So, and it makes you do like that, you know, maybe like a half smile, like, hmm, that was nice. But it's not what, you know, a grown-ass adult needs. A grown-ass adult doesn't need an emoji. What the fuck does that do? So that's sort of this. That's just a stupid example. But that's this kind of energy. It's very uh, minimal. A minimal expression of hope, love, faith, emotion. Minimal. Small. That does not trump that. So... Okay, so there is a new beginning with someone or something, and that could lead to positive vibes. And maybe some of the anxiety that you experience in November is based on the fact that you might have been waiting. Like maybe, like here's the thing, like you know what song just popped into my head? That I don't listen to them. Who are they called? The Backstreet Boys? Um, Quit playing games with my heart, with my heart. At the beginning of November, you celebrate something, you're happy, but you know that something is not right. But you keep on trucking, you keep moving forward with it because you're like, well, maybe this is the big break I need. But then you get back into, well, maybe it's not. Maybe this is still a bunch of bullshit. Maybe it's still a bunch of lies. Ends up being, yeah, it is a bunch of lies. Something or someone lets you down. It's a bunch of bullshit. But then they come back around with a fucking heart emoji or some garbage like, Oh, guess what? I got you a gift certificate to Ross, your favorite. And you're like, what? What? A gift certificate to Ross? You cheated on me, dipshit. Like, you know, and it's it's kind of that, that energy. By the end of November, all of this doesn't matter. And I say that because whether that person is wrong and you're right or vice versa, whatever the case is, you still begin something brand new with a job, with a person, with a place, with a thing. You team up and you begin something new. It's at the beginning of stages. Now, that's for some of you guys. For others of you guys, maybe you begin to start saying, maybe I should think about moving on. And not even think about moving on. These are wands. Maybe I will actually put gas in my car enough to take me out of state. Like that's an actual physical move that I'm going to do right now to begin something new for me. So it seems there's two threes, so it's very difficult to avoid that it could be a third party situation. I have to say it because there are two threes there. I do think that there is some sort of an affair or something going on with someone that you work with or the anxiety, heartbreak, and um, agony that you're experiencing right now has a lot to do with a work situation, a work environment. Um, there could be just people checking in on your work, or there's gossip at your work. Uh, for some of you earth signs, people are talking. People, wag, you know, tongues are wagging over you and a potential third-party situation that you're involved in. 
Um, and I do think that it is with a Pisces for some of you guys. Um, uh, let's see what else. And you're trying, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to find your happiness. You're trying to, you know, focus on your ambition, your goals, your drive, your creativity, things that make you, you, you're, you are trying, but you cannot ignore that some, you know, dirty shit is happening. Look, if you're involved with a water sign, if you're involved with a Pisces, or if you're just involved with someone who you absolutely feel is keeping secrets from you, number one, they are. Number two, they're mourning their own personal private, you know, hell, their own loss. They're going through their own thing. Um, so they cannot completely see you and um, invest energy, attention, and love into you right now. This is a relationship we're talking about. They have their own thing that they're dealing with. And... Um, they can't give you what you're looking for right now, that's for sure. They've got their own thing happening. And maybe that's the secret they're hiding is that they're like, you could say, oh, I don't, I disagree or whatever. This person, this water sign energy or whoever it is you're dealing with that is keeping a secret from you, they're not even telling you, hey, I have my own demons. I have my own loss. I'm, I'm recovering from something that's breaking my heart because boom, boom, boom. So that to me is saying, uh, saying a lot that they're not opening up to you right now in November. Yeah, somebody was married. Somebody was in a, in a, in a steady relationship. They were married. You were the third party. They had a third party or somebody cheated on, stepped out of your marriage. And lots, lots. There's lots, there are lots at stake. There is lots at stake. Is that English? There's a, there's a lot at stake here for you earth signs in, um, I do feel like I'm talking to Taurus a lot right now, but it's for all earth sign energies. There's a lot at stake. So be, be aware, be aware in November. Maybe you want to spend time with someone and they can't because they're married and they have to spend time with their family for Thanksgiving in November. Whatever. Whatever the case is. <clears throat> you do feel like you win a little bit. That's the thing that sucks. You get the Nine of Cups and this and you feel like you win with these little, like, the crumbs, you guys. Crumbs. Whoever you're dealing with is giving you bullshit, one-liners, they're feeding you lines. <clears throat> they're giving you crumbs. So th remember when I said that, when I made that story up, I said, oh yeah, they're going to send you like an emoji. They're going to be like, I have to spend my family, I spend time with my family and not you for the holidays or whatever. <clears throat> and you're going to be like, okay. And then you're going to be waiting by the phone. You're going to get a stupid text message and you're going to be like, oh, see, they do care. I do win. It's a bunch of bullshit. Someone's looking, you're trying to find information out about someone and based on this information that you discover or someone discovers about you, a, a beginning happens. A new beginning happens. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. This is very, very general. Very general, you guys. Here's the advice for all earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, all earth signs in November 2018. 2018, November 2018, all earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Your advice is to, honestly, if you have been sitting on the fence about making a move, it's time to make the move. It's time to rush in for good, for bad, for worse. If you make a mistake, then that's it. You made a mistake, but you cannot sit on the fence anymore about something. Your advice is to pull the trigger, make the move, take that leap, whatever you want to call it, and just say, look, whether I'm wrong or I'm right, I gotta be me, and this is it. I gotta, I gotta make a move. Swift, fast move. Take action, you guys. Don't be fearful anymore. It's November 2018. And unless you want to continue living in a state of anxiety and confusion and just feeling like you're not getting the whole truth, then you need to make a move. Whatever that means to you. Whatever that means to you. Okay, follow me on Instagram, drunk.tarot. This is your general elements for all earth signs for November 2018. I'll see you guys for December and your annual overview. Okay, bye.